Hi guys, this is Smart Physics tutorial for the B cylinder. Cylinders. Okay. So in this question, we are trying to find the magnetic field in the x direction on the point P. Okay. So we have current that's pointing outside. This is like cylinder, like it's going this way, and there's one going up and down. That was awkward. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we need to find the X component of the magnetic field on this point. So we're using Ampere's law, so B dot DL equal mu naught I in close. Okay, so B will be constant, we can pull it out, and then DL. So the DL here is the surface that we're looking for. So we're looking at the surface in close. Mm, okay. So this is the um, surface we're looking for. It's not the surface actually. It's like the um, where we want to find the current inside. Okay. Um, yeah. So u zero i enclosed. So the DL here is just two pi. P, right? We want the circumference of this per of this part. So it's P, two pi, P, okay. Equal mu naught I enclosed. Now let's find the I enclosed. Okay. Um, since we're not using the whole thing in I two, then we need to find the part of it that's enclosed. Okay. All right, so let's find the um, area from here to here. Okay, so the area from here to here is the area of the whole thing minus the area of this part here, which is pi um, c squared minus pi b squared. Okay. And let's find the area from here to here, okay, which is pi p squared minus pi b squared, okay. So let's do with the ratio on this one. So this area has, like from here to here, has the charge I2, right, the whole thing. So, sorry guys, I got a phone call on the video that got disconnected. Yeah, I'm using my phone to videotape this. Uh, anyway, so we have the charge from here to here. Okay, so we just need the charge from here to here. That's in this area here. All right, so we do the ratio thing. So it's no this times this divided by this. So it's I two will be equal to um, pi p squared minus pi b squared divided by pi c squared minus pi b squared okay <clears throat> so this will be the the i2 enclosed okay and if you look at this um, this is going outside of the page and this is going inside of the page so we're gonna subtract those so the b field will be equal to 1 over 2 pi p and then times uh, let's put the mu here and then the i enclosed now is going to be i 1 minus this term here which is i 2 and then we can drop the pi's here so it's um, p squared minus b squared divided by c squared minus b squared okay all right um once you get this value with the b this is the b naught i'll call it okay and mine was that this guy was bigger than this guy okay so the magnetic field from the inside um, current was bigger than the out the part of this here. 
So this guy, if we draw it here again, and it's, okay, and this is the point P, P, and we have this angle here. So um, this will make a magnetic field that's pointing perpendicular to the to the R or to the P here, like to this here. This is going to be perpendicular to this. Okay, so we want to find the X component of this. Let's draw one here. So if this is theta, this is also theta. So this guy is 90 minus theta. Okay, and for me it was 30 degrees. So B naught, or let's say it here, BX will be B naught times the cosine of 90 minus theta. Cool. Okay, and if you look at the direction of it, um, the direction is in the this way here. It's going this in the. If we say that this is y, this is x, it's going in the x direction. x minus direction. x minus direction. Is there anything else they're asking? No. Alright, my friend, um, good luck. If you have any question, just tell, shoot me a comment. Or if I'm saying anything wrong, do the same too. I hope not. Well, good luck. Bye.